Welcome to Sunday check-in section, a 30-minute gathering for Dharma teachings, introspection, and connecting with the community. So my name is Joyce, and I'm from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. So I've been a member of this community for the past three years. So for those who have recently joined our community, please accept our sincere welcome. So if you have under, uh, any uncertainties or curious about our practices and topics, please don't hesitate to ask. And for our regular members, it's great to have you back. Welcome to all. So it is customary in Australia to begin any meeting by acknowledging the traditional owners of our land. So in the spirit of reconciliation, I would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which we walk, study and recite, the Wadi Wadi people of the Tarawar nation and pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. I also pay my respects to the traditional custodians of the various lands on which you all are. So the check-in sections have been developed by our communities of practice team and the entire community. These sections aim to develop a reflective practice in response to changes. Guided by humanistic Buddhism, we would like to cultivate our practices and build memorable friendships. So we're grateful to have Chris to facilitate the sections on the topic of 50 to 60 transition years last week. So today we are blessed to have Aina to facilitate the topic of good friends. So let's warmly welcome Aina to guide us through this exciting topic. Aina, the floor is yours. I've been thinking about the, the whole issue of, of what we were talking about a little before of the disconnect uh, with people. Um, and how COVID disrupted our connection to people, and that maybe it's time to revisit the Buddhist teachings on friendship um, and the, find our essence of, of oneness again. Um, and I think it's also a nice fit with what uh, we have been talking about as far as, as generations. Um, so let's begin our time together with a, a short time of, of meditation, um, being friends to ourselves, taking this time to breathe in the world's kindness and breathe out kindness, our kindness to the world. Sit comfortably, quietly for the next minute or two. Thank you. You know, from the, um, I, I think about how we use the word suffering often. Um, and I think back about how the Buddha taught us to manage everything from the suffering in our organizations. And there I think of, of how he developed the six reverent harmonies to, 
to give um, direction to a complex group of, of people, the initial Sangha, on through the advice that he gave to developing relationships. And if we can have the next slide. Um, Ananda, um, one of his um, first disciples, um, uh, they believe he was a cousin of, of the Buddha, uh, went to the Buddha one time and said, you know, I think that, that uh, uh, friendship is half of the, of the, the spiritual life. And, and the Buddha said, no, 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 no. Good friends and companions are the whole of spiritual life. And um, what, what the Buddha was saying there is how important relationships are. And um, uh, he went on to define four types of friends. And I, I know that we've looked at these before, and I think it's, it's a good time for us to, to review those friends again. If we can have the next slide, please. Um, he talks about the helper, the enduring, the mentor, and the compassionate. And um, uh, the, the, we, we have to think about the, the kinds of friends that we are, the kinds of friends that we need, and where those deficits are in our relationships. Next slide, please. Um, the helper friend, um, and, you know, as usual, there are usually four things that, <laughs> that we see. The helper friend protects us when we're vulnerable um, and um, is a refuge for us. Um, I look at the helper friend as a protector and a refuge in this stormy life that we have, assuring that all will be well because we're in it together. Next slide. And then the, the um, uh, Buddha mentions the um, enduring friend. And the enduring friend is, is one who um, is there for you through thick and thin. Um, by your side, even when it's uncomfortable to be by your side. There's not an abandonment. Next slide, please. And this is how I think about it. And, and Joyce, you just mentioned, I think, a dog. You know, that, that the enduring friend is somebody who is just as loyal as a dog. You know, they'll, they'll love you no matter what. And um, uh, they'll never abandon you. And they're always available for hugs and kind of sloppy kisses right after they've eaten their yucky dog food. <laughs> then there's the mentor friend. The next slide, please. Um, we talk about the, the mentor as, as one who restrains you from, from doing wrong um, and helps you do right and um, uh, lets you know what you should know. And I think of the mentor friend as a moral companion. And next slide, please. And then there's the compassionate friend. Um, we might call the compassionate friend as a, a laugh and cry buddy. They're always there. They, they feel your feelings. Um, they're, they're there to, to hold you when you need it. They're there to rejoice with you even when it is a time of sorrow for them. Always kind, always supporting, defending, caring deeply. And it might just be the hardest friend to find or to be because the, the compassionate friend is um, uh, the one who embodies all of the four immeasurables that we talk about and embodies all of the other friendships into one, always there for us. Um, the Buddha summed up perfectly in what we, what we might call, or what I call a poem, and that's the next slide, please. It's from the uh, Sigalavada Sutra, and the Buddha says, the friend who is a helper, the friend through thick and thin, the friend who gives good counsel, and the compassionate friend. These four are friends indeed. The wise understand this and attend to them carefully, like a mother her own child. And that tells me that friendship is not transactional. 
it is not if I if you're a good friend to me, I'll be a good friend to you, you know, like in school, but rather that we are there for that person, um, even perhaps someone that uh, um, is not um, akin to us, uh, maybe even someone that that we've had issues with, but we're still there for them. So what I would like us to do today is go into our friendship groups and and um, think of friends perhaps in a in another way, uh, not just our contemporaries, um, but also who are the the young people in a way who have been mentors to us old people, and as juniors. What do the juniors, what do you look like, look for from friends in elders? A lot of times we think of friendship as, as in our, our age range. And really the, the, some of the most growth in friendship is across generations. So perhaps we can now um, go into our, our uh, groups and um, see what lessons we have learned from our friends. Thank you, Aina, for your beautiful sharing on the topic of good friends with us. So now we will be placed into a group of three to four to share and discuss. In the discussion, we recommend you spend some time getting to know each other and then discussing our questions. So there will be a Zoom notifications to guide you but feel free to let the flow of your discussions guide you. So our sections are guided by metta, which is unconditional love and kindness for all sentient beings. So let's use these breakout sections to express and receive loving kindness to and from one another. And take time to pause, share, and listen. We'll also ask you to share some of your findings with the larger group at the end of the breakout sections. So now let's go to our breakout rooms for rich and nourishing discussions. So all back in 15 minutes. Yeah, any any findings that you wish to share? Uh, yeah, Ellen, just, just now, yeah, the sharing was good. I mean, can we like text something? Okay. Um, <laughs> I thought it was lovely. It was great. Loved it. Um, we we're talking about various different things, of course. Um, um, for example, I've been playing a mentor role to a young Indigenous cadet that I'm working with. He's only 16 and fresh out of school. Um, and he was talking about his wife and child. Um, and, and Katia had a really interesting conversation around age and the transfer of knowledge. The different generations, which I sort of liken to the Indigenous culture, which I think they do really well. And then we're talking about um, Katia's having been to a smoking ceremony. Um, Joyce was sort of taking things from moment to moment. Um, but it was interesting, we were also talking about states of mind and so some people are sometimes wise beyond their years, but then again, others are not. Um, and then we're talking about lived experience and time lost. And sometimes if we're looking at juniors, for example, we maybe might forget how things can be, their view of the world is so simple and sometimes refreshing and we forget some of these things as we grow older. So I guess that was my take on the conversation, if that makes sense. But it was lovely. I loved it. Well, it looks like we've got lots of great sharing. So please mm. put all your um, comments in the chat so that our poster team will be able to do their magic. So in the meantime, I'm going to hand back to Joyce because it's 11.30 to close out the session. So we thank you, Aina, again for the topic today. So we really hope the chat-in section was helpful to you. And we hope you experience the unconditional love and compassion of this community. So, but for anyone who might be experiencing a greater need than what today could meet, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. So, and you can also reach out to the professional organizations on the screen. So next Sunday, I now will guide us on another beautiful topic about seeking and being spiritual friends. So please come and join us. Yeah, beforehand, so um, as we let's just now dedicate the good. So let's we check out today. Let's recite the dedication of marriage together to send love and compassion.
to whoever is in need. Of what you have done to all, let us now dedicate the goodness of what you have done to all living beings. May kindness, compassion, joy, and equanimity pervade all worlds. May we cherish and build affinities to benefit all beings. May Chan, Pure Land, and Precepts inspire equality and patience. May our gratitude and humility give rise to great vows. Thank you, Anna, for your time and generous sharing with us on this heartwarming title. So thank you, Lai for being our IT master behind the scenes. And uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us. So now we will have our usual plenary session. So please stay around if you have time. Otherwise, see you all again next Sunday at 11 a.m.